percent of the air that you breathe right now is nitrogen and it's two of them so N2 is an N triple bond and the way you'll really draw this is having electron pairs because you always got to count the electron pairs so the triangle really has a little pair of electrons there the bottom of the clubs has little electrons there but we're just dealing with bonding here this is the whole key that no one talks about when they're teaching chemistry this is the different view why I tell you if you learn it this way you're learning the bonding if you got the bonding down, counting the electrons, all that other stuff, you'll be able to look up on a table that they'll give you. But this is what you have to learn. The octets are all eights, but since we're bonding here with our triangles, watch what happens. One nitrogen's a triangle. It's got three bonds. Another triangle with three bonds. What do you get? Something that looks kind of artistic, huh? Isn't that one of those three-dimensional kind of deals? It's just frontwards or backwards. We'll put the N here. Nitrogen. Nitrogen. N2. So with this triple bond, we need nitrogen in our amino acids. How do we get it? There's a little bit of NO that's created when lightning strikes. Because remember, you've got 78% of the air here that we're breathing is almost totally inert. So think of all the breathing you do, taking a deep breath. <sighs> Eight tenths roughly of that is nitrogen, and two with a triple bond, so what do you think it does when it goes into your lungs? Nothing, doesn't react at all. What your lungs are trying to do is get the O2 in and the CO2 out, so this kind of insulates it, that things don't instantaneously combust. So our shapes that I'm promoting here, what's going to be cool for nitrogen is we've got our old amino acid backbone. Remember that. We've got a nitrogen that is bound to a carbon. Carbon's always a diamond. That's what's so great about this. Carbon technically should be black. That's why I don't like the suit thing working with that. So carbon, four bonds. What do we know that it's bound to another carbon that gets the double bonded oxygen on it? So let's throw two bonds down here to oxygen that now this is a cool one we just came up with. It's going to be the quarter moon. So say oxygen out here is quarter moon, but we can dot in the rest of the moon. So double bonded O to the carbon. We've got one more bond up here. Well, where does that go? See, this is the repeating session of the wait a minute, N. Now what's neat is N's got a little double bond thing here. So I'm going to show you this just because it's artistic. We're trying to make it art, right? So here is nitrogen would technically be the diamond. I only need a lone pair of electrons up there. Makes it kind of like a little alien spaceship, doesn't it? Hmm? So that's what nitrogen is. Nitrogen, let's say ammonia is NH3. N H three is ammonia. So we could call him the ammonia alien. Got three bonds. What are hydrogens here? They're little dots. So we'll draw a dot and a dot and a dot. Now this is really what the chemical structure looks like for ammonia. Three hydrogens that are protons are out there bonded in a lone pair of electrons. But see, back to our shapes here now too. We know that nitrogen's got three bonds. 
So the carbon here is one bond. This nitrogen which is what's going to be over here. I guess we could draw that one in. A triangle. See, we're not even going to draw the end or be thinking anything. We're just going to triangle. And there's a line to it. And you know what this actually gets up there? A dot. So, see the repeating sessions now? This middle carbon, though, this is the one where you're learning your chemistry. This is so cool because this holds the amino acid out there. And it's going to usually hold it by another carbon. So you're going to have a carbon-carbon. Call it a diamond-diamond bond. And when you see it on a test, the D-diamond will remind you a double, you know, that'll just confuse you. Strike that from the record. Okay. And up here. Triangle, there's only one more it can do. You need a carbon's going to be a diamond. Now this amino acid you get to see is going to be hanging off here. This goes to the diamond with the oxygen that's going to be we can do this any way we want it. That's the great part of making this up. So let's just say we end the thing here with an oxygen. Make it a circle. Make it a circle with two things coming off it. And then to finish this off, because what do we got? A diamond with one, two, three bonds. How do you give it a fourth? You got this carbon. One, two, three. How do you give that a fourth? So see what's neat is you see the hydrogens crisscrossing up and down on the opposite sides. You've got your double bonded oxygen here. That technically, you know me, I'd love to be drawing the electrons out there, but it's not important in this case. I'll actually admit it. So this is free to twist. That's why you can tell which way this goes. And this is what the amino acid backbone is by shapes. So see how easy these shapes are to use? Well, check this out. Now that we know these, we're going to take all this down. We're going to draw DNA. That's what we've been heading for. We want to draw the coolest, most up-to-date, hardest stuff there is. If we're going to learn science, it's going to be hard. Let's learn the hard stuff. Why waste our time suffering and hating it and struggling with it when all you do is end up with a third grade education anyway? Okay? The whole thing of chemistry is DNA. So first I'm going to show you the bases. Each of these bases has their own shapes. There's two big double ring bases and then there's two single ring bases. There's a third one they call it RNA DNA, but we're going to compare them. So the big double ringers we're going to do now with diamonds and triangles. Now this is what's so neat is because you've got a nitrogen here. Nitrogen triangle only got three bonds. Well this out here is going to the sugar. So it's only one way it can go now. And we know it's not nitrogen to nitrogen, so it's got to go to a carbon. It's going to be a triangle up here. Try and keep that thick triangle. This triangle goes up to a, a diamond goes to a triangle. Triangle goes to diamond. Now see, I'm no brainiac, but I can draw the DNA chemical structure just knowing that there's a nitrogen in a five-membered ring and they're not touching, so there's no other way this could be. So this has to be right. You're going to have a nitrogen to a carbon to a nitrogen to a carbon-carbon and then back around on the nitrogen. So these are little tricks you can teach yourself and now it's just a matter of 
since the carbon nitrogen bonds are in just fill the ones with the